How unfortunate. It appears our reputation has preceded us. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Enrico Maxwell. I'm the head of the Iscariot organization. It is an honor to meet you. I really don't care who you are. Just tell me what you want. There is no need to take such a... Hi, my name is Talison Jaffe. I'm the voice director and script adapter for Helsing Ultimate. Welcome back. And I am Victoria Harwood, and I play Integra. My name is JB Blanc. I play Enrico Maxwell from the Iscariot organization in Helsing. Happy to be here. How dare you? You really expect us to just let you do as you please? Two men? If we had slaughtered two million of your Protestant scum, I would not have shed a tear. I'm here under direct orders from His Holiness. Otherwise, I would not bother with you filthy creatures. So just shut up and pay attention, you miserable English son. Well, uh, he's, he's, you know, the high-powered representative of a sector of the Vatican. Uh, and uh, he's, he's, you know, slimy, Italian, <laughs> dangerous. Fantastically fun to play, ingratiating while he's killing you. Uh, he's, you know, he's just a great character. And if you want to tell us a little, little bit of your take on, on, uh, on Integra, Integra, is uh, the head of the Helsing organization, which is the organization that hunts down and destroys most things in their path. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, she does it all with very, uh, very calm, mannered aplomb. Until, until that moment. Ah, right? until a few um, moments where something gets her goat and then she lets fry. Yes, she loses it. <laughs> a bit mislead, like me. <laughs> I'm a very, very easygoing person until somebody presses. Usually my husband. I love him. I adore him. <laughs> But he can say good morning in a way that makes me want to hurl a plate at his head. I mean, <laughs> fairly normal, but... The poor uh, man will have to watch this at some point. Yeah. Um, Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how absolutely terrifying. How can a man be expected to deal with people who put a gun in his face? I think you'll agree that turnabout is fair play. So why don't we make this fight interesting? Yeah. So I, I know both of us have, uh, well, both of you and all of us have, have, have done this before, uh, five or six years ago. Um, uh, what, what did any, has anything, does anything feel different from the last time that we were, what, what, what's changed for you anyway in, from, from the last time that we, if you can even think back that far? Well, I can. It was the first, it was the first voice gig I ever did in the U.S. And so it was the first anime I ever did. And I didn't have a lot to do. I did the little priest at the beginning. Um, I know you're feeling pain. I will give you pleasure. Yeah, you can remember All that. that. <laughs> and it will last forever. And it, uh, there was that guy that was fun. And then there was only a little bit of Enrico Maxwell in there. Yeah, uh, it was kind of a riot. I remember it all kind of happened. I, I don't even remember why you were in that day. Um, Which day? It was the, the day we did Enrique, because we auditioned you the same day that we were recording. That's right, you just, just said, like, speaking okay, of the phone, they were right now <laughs> sending it to Japan. So That's they, right, I did, a, I did a phone audition across, across the, uh, to, to Japan, which was very strange. And then just, and just, just did it in a day or, or two. And, and, uh, and so I do remember you know, the look and feel of the thing, and that's really the principal difference now, is, is it, it feels very, very different. Uh, as we, we we just discussed a little on the commentary, it's 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 bigger and camper and and there's more of Enrico Maxwell, which you know I'm always happy with. You know yeah. that's great. I was I was thinking at the time like if I, if I ever have to come back and do this, thank God I have somebody competent, <laughs> kind of capable of this. I tried really hard to make sure anybody even had a little bit to do in Helsing. We're like just in case we have to come back and do this again. I know this is going to be important later, so I have. Someone I can rely on not to. Not to well, it's good to be. Up. You know, there's a lot of a lot has happened in between the two things, and we've been, you know both done a lot of different work. But uh, it's good to come back to something that feels familiar and yet is having its boundaries pushed further and further. You know. So how about I? You know, we you you had a bit more time in the last. I mean, last time was was quite a while ago, and there was. Yeah, and I've done several things since, um, but Integra. Uh, Integra's loosened up a bit, I think. Uh, a lot of the characters have, and there's a, there's a lot more comedy in it. Uh, I find the writing more um, ironic, uh, sarcastic, <laughs> <laughs> and uh, a little bit more fun to play. She was very measured in the first series. 
It seems we both have to contend with some rather difficult subordinates. Well, are you done, pig? Oh yes, I am quite done. Now that the violence is out of the way, perhaps you would care to join me in the cafe garden. Both of you have known each other for a very long time. And I go, mm. did, did, did you go to Did you go to school together? Or was this just knew each other through school? But we, yeah, we were we were uh, we met when uh, we met twenty years ago at uh, and I remember the first day at uh, the Royal Academy of Dramatic Art where we both trained in London. I was twelve. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and then some. That's what and, uh, yeah, and I was I think I was genuinely eighteen, sweet and eighteen, and very naive, and. Uh, Victoria sort of, I, was, I think I was quite scared of her when I first met her and then she just took me under her wing and she was my, she was my, she was my greatest friend and, beca and became my greatest friend And we had thereafter. a birthday a few, uh, about a week apart. You're the, uh, are you an Aquarian? Yes, I'm an Aquarian. Are you an Aquarian? No, apparently yes. I'm an Aquarian too. Yes, we're both Aquarians. <laughs> we're both Aquarians, uh, large tanks birthday. full of fish. Yeah. And uh, yeah, and so, so yes, we've known each other a painfully long time. Which is, mm. which is kind of fun. And then when I moved to LA, she was the only person I knew here. She would, she'd already been here a few years, and so she was my main hookup, and I met a lot of my friends through, through, through them. Really. I persuaded you to phone up Cynthia, who came to In me fact, one day and said- In fact, she's responsible for me yeah, getting, getting married, and, getting married and, having children. and having children. So really, I, said, I, owe I her, met this girl. I hey, owe her agony. Great. No, it was gorgeous, gorgeous. <laughs> it's I said, why don't you phone true. her? She said, phone her. She beat me about the face and the head. Said, phone I said, the girl she, up. I said, I met this girl and she's way out of my league. And she said, phone her up for God's sake. So I tracked her down and how that's how, how we all got kicked off. I said, well, whose party was it? Who was there? Somebody must know her. Get the number, phone her. Yeah. Now he's married. Children. Um, she's responsible for most of the misery in my life. <laughs> 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 yeah. And and of course, kidding. I suppose, well, you know, she, she, she brought you here, so, so I really, I, I also mm. feel thankful that. You know, Absolutely, and she was, I get she's therefore introdu right introduced me to the world of anime too. This is this is something I actually love to talk about because I don't I don't uh, most people I don't think I, I don't think most people watching this this disc right now know know the difference between. Um, well, I hate to call it classically trained, but this is about, about classically trained actors yes. and sort of what happens out here, this, the, the more Western American style of acting, which is all about, about internalizing everything and making everything about a moment happening in the eyes and this very film-based, where if you try and sit in a, most American actors down and talk about process or talk about, about you know, uh, theory or technique, they're sort of going to look at you with the kind of a blank, scared uh, uh, to your face, but yeah, well, I think in I think in 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 voice acting, actually, your our technical training helps a great deal more because because you know you do need to technically pitch up to what's going on, and it's a, you know voice acting is a very technical process, and people think that you can just kind of stroll in and do it, and it, it really you actually need to do this with your hand. You need while to do you're that with your hand while you're speaking, uh, which is yeah, I don't know what's going on there, but I think it's a dead one of them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And uh, so, so, yeah, so, so your technical training, you, the, the, the whole British training is, is, is very much a theatre-based, or was very much a theatre-based uh, training, because that principally was the, the, the industry. There were only f three t television channels when I was a kid, uh, and that was it. So, so, you know, screen stuff wasn't, there was a huge film industry, but it wasn't taught. It was much more of a theatrical approach, and that stands you in great stead here. But yeah, then you, when you come over, and you know, I do a lot of on-screen stuff as well. And, and American actors work in a very different, different, completely different way. And so you have you have a lot to learn from each other, and that's what's interesting about the experience is that, you know, emotionally, American actors are pretty unparalleled, and and that's where British actors have to sort of you know step up to the mark. But technically, we're 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 pretty strong, and that stands it stands us in great stead for this. Uh, time. I have something to say on this. Oh, yeah. Well, because when we went to drama school together, we did everything was the method. So you know, it was Stanislavski, Stanislavski and, was, was yeah, back, yeah. and you know, the Strasbergs Stand and Uta, Uta Hagen. <laughs> Uta Hagen. And it's like yeah. you know, we had to start off by doing exercises where we were just ourselves. And then, you know, we had to do things where we just, you know, had the fourth one, we were just, you know, you had to find the reality, you had to find the truth and everything. And, and a lot of the actors who I grew up working with in London uh, had gone through a similar sort of training. And one of the last plays I did in uh, London was uh, 
before I moved here was Cleansed, a Sarah Kane play, and it was full of uh, death, rats, mutilation, genital uh, mutilation, sex changes, people dying. I was naked half of the thing. Everyone ended Modern up naked. Theory, yeah. Yes, but basically, truth, you know, truth. yeah, at the royal court, and it was all. We were in rehearsals, and there were sex gender people coming to talk to us, and there was torture in the place. There were people who from Amnesty, and we'd walk there and. Sarah Kane, bless her heart, because she actually uh, is, is dead now. She was tortured all the way through it, and everyone was so tortured through the process. And suddenly, I saw one of the actors looking quite sane one day. And he had a book in his back pocket. And I was like, well, what's that book? And like, you know, heretics, we pass this around. And I can't remember the exact title of the book, but it was David Mamet's, I think it was, Heresies and Other Theatre of Bloody Blas. Um, uh, well, we'll find out the name of the book. But it basically said, there is no character, there's no past life, there's just black squiggles on a page, get on stage, say your line and fuck off. <laughs> and, and we were like, yes, we don't have At to last. torture ourselves. <laughs> we could just say, that if the person has written something, which presumably, if you are going to do it, this is not always the case, if somebody has written something well, all you have to do is do it and don't try and bring the life and the ticks and the things to it. Just do it and go, finish. And we were like, oh. Relief. No, 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 you're technical acting yes. out there and give and, and have yes. it. Don't bump into the furniture. Just, just, but, I mean, the truth of it is yeah. that it's, it, it, you know, not to sound like too much of a wanker, but it is an intensely personal process. And whatever works for you, however you get there, however you manage to do it, is, you know, is, is, is the right way because I think there's far too much judgment goes on between people. And uh, I'm sorry, you can watch, you know, any number of different actors with any number of different techniques, and the result ultimately is the same, and that's that's telling the truth of what you see, you know, and what what you turning the fascination in being an actor is taking those black squiggles and making them three dimensional, <laughs> because what, there is no more fascinating process, not to everyone, but to those who are bitten by it, that's what it that's what it's about. No, it, it's, it's it's fabulous to perform, and it's fabulous to. to it's to, great fun. It is great yeah. fun. It's hard work, and it, but it is great fun. The, I think the deception is that. You can just do this without training, and I think you know. I think a very few people can, but I think they're by far in the minority. And and I mean, uh, one of the reasons. <laughs> Don't you remember the drama school? Okay, so all of these people, like you know, the Queen Mother and the Queen and Princess Diana, they're all on the board and the thing. And we met them all. They all Gil came, and, and you know, Gil, so John, yes, does, so Gilgood comes. And he's giving a speech. He's taking over as the patron and that, and the Princess of Wales, bless her soul as well. She's... She's taking over. How come everyone I know is dead? But anyway, um, she... Um, <laughs> she <laughs> sorry, Jamie. <Jimmy. laughs> she, she was going to then be something else, and they were switching places and everything. So he came to give a speech, and he never writes, or he never wrote speeches. So he's being televised and everything, because at the same time, Rada was getting a huge grant mm. from wherever because the Bernard Shaw thing has run out. So he's standing there and he's going, marvellous, Royal Academy of Dramatic Arts, wonderful actors that it brings out and fantastic training. And you know, I, I love the art and everything and the actors and the wonderful actors. And at the end of the day, really, I mean, either you've got it or you haven't. And oh, bollocks, I shouldn't have said that because I'm... he was there basically <laughs> talked himself out of the whole thing. He's praising the drama school and then he starts talking about how you actually you, you don't need a drama school. You don't need a drama school at all. And he suddenly realised <laughs> halfway through his speech and he's like, oh, no, um, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> but it's too late. They filmed it and it's out on you know, TV. It is. Yeah. It's, 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 it's just one of those things I like to point out to people because there's a whole school of people who believe that, that you, can, you can paint like Pablo Picasso by going out and scribbling out a bunch of stuff onto a paper and selling it for half a million dollars. And, and people have, but they, and people but they, have. You know, but they are in the minority. And, it, you know, I've, we've been doing this 20 years. So it's, you know, it takes, a, it takes a lot of training. And people, I think it's, a, the, you know, actors are often cast under some mis 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 misnomer, really. It's not, it's, you know, it ain't dig digging ditches. It's not, you know, it's not that tough, but you don't just waltz up there and do it. It's, there's a lot of background goes into it and a lot of, uh, of hard work. And, and if you've done it right, you'll go home exhausted. Uh, Ideally, yeah, yeah. And if just you don't, you sort of talking to you is exhausting. <laughs> <laughs> and if and you I'm don't, then right something's now. wrong, you know. I mean, certainly, I mean, it's very, you know, we both did an awful lot of theatre, and theatre's a very different world. And yeah. I recently did 
some, some, some theatre over here for the first time in seven years at the Mark Taper Forum in Los Angeles, and I could not believe how exhausted I was. I couldn't believe how out of touch with those muscles I'd become, you know, and it's exactly it's a very how I describe it. It's, it's, I, 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 it's I different started muscles working again. Like, I don't remember. Oh, how is this supposed to work again? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it aches, and, you, and you're like, uh, I completely forgotten how difficult this was, and I've been spoiled by doing film and television, which is more of a brain ache than a physical ache, but. Uh, but an ache, nevertheless, you know, it's, this, it's, it's hard to get your head around. All this bloody anime, which just makes it's just, just also. And camp. in between, you've got this, yeah. which is which is a whole different world, but tremendous fun to do. And it's always in very short bursts, and you always wish you were, you know, because you used to. We we actually, our training was geared towards working for very long periods of time because you might have a six month run of a play. Yeah. And so then you have to pack this into you know all that training <laughs> One into day like every a couple months. of hours every three months or four hours here or four, and you're doing other stuff. But keeping track of all that is a much bigger process. And the, fa the sad thing is that at the end of a recording session, you always think, oh, I'm warmed up now. I'm ready to go. Yeah. I'm ready yeah. to start. And then they're like, and they're like thanks. Bye, Victoria, see you next time. And you're like, but I, well, I wasn't ready, you know. I hear that an awful lot. Yeah. Do you want our files? Do you really wish to know what we know? Come on. Yes or no? Yes, please. So, is, is there any uh, is there any preparation that goes into the, the uh, coming in here to do this again and coming back for this character? Well, I'll tell you something. Before I used to, this is no complaint, but I used to get the episodes. I used to watch it. I used to have the script. Um, uh, <laughs> We've been going a little. F <laughs> yes, it's been a little fast. When was this? Time. <laughs> <laughs> this was when we very first started. Oh, and right, Jonathan first. used to come round, and I and so I would be very well prepared. I know exactly what was going on. Now I don't know what's going on until <laughs> I get here, and um, so there's very little preparation that, that one can actually do for you know what is going to be thrown at you. And I I'm quite like that. that. <laughs> I know I like that. I like that. It's better because. Uh, the only thing I really do, to be absolutely quite frank, is that I will do my vocal exercises in the, the, the car on the way here, which is sort of, oh, we, we know a few together, the mimini pimini la Yes, all those things. And the buddy go Still use the same exercises that we were taught in drama school all those years ago. Motherfucker, 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 motherfucker. Him too, yeah. Usually with Mimini, mimini. Mimini, pimini, mimini, pimini, la, 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 mimini, pimini, la, mimini, pimini, la, 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 mimini, And things like, you know, it's Tuesday and I'm wearing a blue bra. What did you do to die today at a minute or two to do? I think distinctly hard to say, but hard still to do. For the beta to do at a 20 to do, we'll rat it, rat it, rat it, all that stuff. Yes. We learnt those together. Principally, here's the thing. With, with <laughs> That's what we wasted our money on. <laughs> there's not the same, there's not the same uh, preparation. You can't do the same preparation that you would do for a role in theatre or a role on, on screen. No. But, um, but, but here's the thing, is that if, as long as technically you are warmed up, and yeah. I'm doing this again, as long as technically all, everything is warmed up and you're ready to go and you're prepared. <laughs> you if put you're, your hands if in your pockets now. If you're, I'll sit on them. If you're, or you sit on them. No, um, I mean, if you, if, you know. If, uh, if, oh, you're yes, <laughs> if you're technically prepared, then and, and you know when you're not. When you when you come in and you haven't done your business, and you like haven't that. done it works. Yeah. You are fucking up every second line, and and it, it just shows. Your 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 head's not in it. You're yeah. not prepared. You're not focused. You're not you know you haven't got the right attitude to the microphone. So as long as technically you're prepared, anime has a great way of informing you what your character is about. It's so expressive. It's right There's there. so much in the eyes. The eyes always tell you what's going on, and so you know really. You, you're at a great advantage because the characters there on screen. You've got a, you've got, a, you've certainly got a Japanese track to work off too, which can either inform Some you or misinform you. I just think you time. should follow the lip flaps. But following the lip flaps helps a lot. You'll be there, and, and, and the, you know, the, if provided the thing's well drawn enough, and it usually is, um, you, you, you have plenty of information to go on, and that's your guiding track. Anime has a very different pace, and. Uh, that, that takes getting used to, because we're used to sort of quick-fire dialogue, you know, everything happening very fast. And anime takes its time. They'll set up a shot, there'll be a mood, the leaves will blow, and then you'll give a response. And uh, that, that, that's quite, that, I think that's quite hard. It's, it's, it's hard, difficult. but also, I think, I mean, the way I've always looked at it is that that's information. It's all information. It all informs, you know, what they want the character. There's, a, there's usually... 
it's it's fairly economical. It's it rarely does stuff without you know just for the sake of it. It's usually trying to inform a mood, and I think that's another cultural difference. Is that you know in a, in in American output and British output, you know, you by and large you just you're just kind of you're informed by the language as opposed to you know taking a moment to set the scene you know to 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 create an atmosphere and then the characters speaking because of what's going on around them because of their direct environmental influence which seems to happen in anime a lot more but it, it is it is a nice change of pace to have something that moves a little bit more slowly and and it, i don't know when all that started but there was definitely I, I mean there's it's it's amazing we can even have these kids shows like dragon ball or or uh, yes. sailor moon where things where things really do kind of move at an amazingly slow pace a hell of a lick, yeah, yeah. Um, and part of that is just the comics that they're basing them off of. Yes. are only like 11 pages long. You've got 11 pages to go 22, 25 To minutes. stretch it yes. out, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Let's have some pensive wind for five minutes while the orchestra kicks I like that, you see. Yes. No, I love no, a bit like of pensive that. wind yes, of a yes. Thursday afternoon. Yeah. Well, you're, you're, you're quite prone to pensive <laughs> wind. Pensive wind. Oh, I've got terrible wind, pensive wind pain. Good evening. Has Walter explained the situation? My orders are simple. Search and destroy. Now go. Whatever you wish, my master. I know I do quite a few conventions. I know you've done a few, and I know you've at least done one, if not two. I've done a few. I've done a few um, uh, in Orlando. The any, mega, yeah, the, the mega con. Yeah, the, which I, uh, yes. I've also done. Uh, yes, a couple times. Uh, any 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 interesting? I know we're we're kind of insular when we do this. We don't really. I, I mean, poor poor Ralph had never even seen anybody who watched the show before. Right, so, exactly. I was shocked. They flew me to um, that convention, put me up in a hotel, and I was like, nobody's going to want my autograph. They came dressed as Integra. They <laughs> lined up dressed as Integra. They wanted my autographed anything. And in fact, um, you did in fact autograph. Everything. I did in fact autograph everything, <laughs> including uh, ten old scripts, which some guy got. And he came back the next day and said, "Do you have the rest?" And I was like, "I think so," knowing that I had probably thrown them in yeah. the trash. She didn't mean to do that. Yeah. And uh, you know, yeah, very interesting to see people who actually dressed up in my character. What's great about anime and why I've always loved working in it is because the infectiousness of the fandom, I mean, it's just people are nuts for this stuff and you've got to admire it. And what's unnerving is that, you know, you're a, you're a voice actor on a panel and some guy gets up and says, um, in episode six of volume three, <laughs> no, exactly who your character right said, no, 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 and the Japanese is actually yes. like, oh, dude, I just say the fucking lines. <laughs> yeah. I just say the lines, man. I don't know what the original translation I know. was. I know. Bless you. I, I, I support your interest, and I really, you know, but I, I, you're and asking you the wrong guy. And, then I, and, talk, they, and, and then I say, Talison, would you like to And they know your lines. They People your who lines quote backwards. your lines oh, to you, and you're like, incredible. Yeah, I do remember saying that. I know, I know we, we should did a really... Panel for, we did a panel for Read or, read or Die, and yes, we, we signed autographs for three hours. Uh, I think it went a little longer than three hours. It was, it was astonishing. Was yeah. You know, it, it's a long way from, from a, a sort of dark, cramped booth to suddenly <laughs> see that people really love this stuff yeah. and that you have an effect on their lives. You know, you give them a little bit of happiness or misery or whatever it might be, you know, but... But it's very, it's often why actors are kind of like a bit scared because people do come up to you and they, and they sort of treat you like they know you and it's slightly unnerving. What happens is that you sort of forget that a lot of people see this stuff. And, oh, completely. And yeah. it's, it's, it's not easy to understand that when you're just in a tiny booth with a microphone and, and that's all you've got to go on. You know? The fans are great and, 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 yeah. and it's, it's always a sort of sobering reminder that this stuff gets out there and has a huge following and you know I'm very grateful for them it's fantastic yeah don't you dare question my resolve i've already given you your marching orders soldier you will search and destroy search and destroy any resistance you encounter is to be crushed does not run from our enemies. Kill them! Um, so one of the other interesting things about working on anime, of course, is this is one of the few things where no matter what, you know that you're going to be getting working on a show that's going to be released in two languages with a subtitle track that people are actually going to watch. It's not like the Spanish track on Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which 
you watch for the novelty of it and so that you can learn to say amusing things in Spanish. Do you? Uh, <laughs> I'm a very lonely man. <laughs> well, I, have, I know someone who does, so we'll go that far. Uh, okay. if, yes. I mention, if I mention her, she'll, she'll get angry. Um, she's trying to con me into it. Um, but is, is, is there ever, I mean, I can speak from, I know where I come from on this, but do you ever feel any, any, any pressure to, to live up to a previous performance uh, or, or, or at the very least a different performance? No, because sometimes when I hear the Japanese, and I, uh, you know, because you know, you'll get the playback, you'll mm. hear the Japanese first, and I think, okay, I'm going to emulate that. And then I get told, no, no, no. We're going to change the lines, we're going to do this completely differently. <laughs> and it's completely like a different mood altogether. Like suddenly she's angry or she's pissed off. Whereas in the Japanese, she was like sexy and calm and very slow. I can hear the and um, forming for me right yeah, now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And I'm <laughs> like, well, that's not how the Japanese sounded, but I just go with what, always trust the director. So um, I did, you know, have seen some stuff on, on uh, and the ether, you know, internet. YouTube. Uh, saying, you know, the, the English you know, is not as good as the Japanese, but I don't personally feel any pressure to... Um, you you know, know, it's also, it's kind of like, you know, it's like saying, you know, I did a movie called The Count of Monte Cristo, and everyone said, well, it's nothing like the book. And I'm sort of like, well, it's a 90-minute movie. They're yeah. different, you know. Try and yeah. get, you know, those 800 pages or whatever it is into a 90-minute movie. Of serialized and fiction, obviously, no you'll have my blessing, you know. Um, but here's the thing. Japanese and English are different, and it's yeah. okay. Yeah. And I, I, that is my belief, and I know I'll get stabbed for that, but I, it is my belief. Here's the thing, it's always a guide, it's a guide, and, and I think with experience, and if you do enough of this stuff, you know where they're going with the Japanese track. And there is a different, there can be a different way of interpreting that in English. And I think that's okay, personally, as a director and as an actor, I think that's okay. I think always, in the back of your mind, is is the fact that you're, you are doing a, 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 an homage to the Japanese, or you've got to respect that. I think it would be foolish to think that you don't. You don't necessarily, you, you, you don't often get away with just saying, well, screw that, we're doing something else. No. Sometimes you can, but it serves the English track, and that's your duty. You know, you're serving the Japanese original and the English track. And you, you, so I think there's a balance, and I think it's, it's possible to, to do both. My, my, my feeling on it always tends to be that... Um, I try and treat it like theater. Is it, you know, I, I've, I've, I've seen enough Shakespeare or, or, or Stoppard. I'll go Stoppard because it's, it's, it's a little more interesting and maybe somebody will pick something up. Uh, I've seen enough Stoppard to know how Stoppard's done and see how people have done Stoppard. And, and, and if I go and do Stoppard, I'm going to be doing some, some play that I've seen before, I've seen done well, I've seen done badly. It doesn't mean that, and I'm not going to sit there and, and wretch about whatever I'm doing because it's different from what I've already seen. I'm, I'm going to sit there and try and bring, not necessarily something new, but, but just to see what I can do. Color. Uh, yeah. Something, something with more depth and more injury. You're, you're not want there to, to be, what's been done. Right. And you don't, you're not there to robotically reproduce what was done in Japanese. That's not our job. You know, uh, it's frighteningly dull is what it, and it, be it becomes unbelievably bland and it doesn't do the, the, the series any fa favours if you do that it really doesn't why not challenge it why not you know um, put different colours to it I think that's a much more interesting way to go we, we did actually get to watch episode two recently with, with some of the Japanese staff and, and we got we were, as, as dubs go we're, we're, we're pretty well respected at this point I mean Good. it is the internet the internet is, is, is where all, all, all ideas go to die um, yeah. Every now and then I go onto the Lord of the Rings board and listen to people whine and moan about how, how you know, yeah. Jackson should be shot and strung up and put into a crow's nest. And like, oh, so I'd love them to have a go. I'd love those people to have a go and do what he did. Because, know. You know, it's, it's really, really, these people really get me pissed yeah. off because I'm, it's like, well, you have no idea how difficult it is. what we do, but, you know, it's, yeah. it's, it's uh, And if you try and please some people, you can't please all the people all no. the time, and neither should you, you know, you're just going to do the best you can. But we please them. The best oh, we, we, best, we, we, best we just, we just got like another, like, like, yeah, we're, we're, we're considered the top percent, though. We do okay. You do, you, you do very well, so. I'm happy. Get much praise. If I'm making someone happy. I'm happy. I'm happy. We're moving them at least in some way. So yes. the, the, we, we get quite a bit of love from the Japanese. I think, good. Listen, I mean, you know, that's the biggest honor you could have. If the Japanese original people, you know, who the original series creators like it, then you can, there is no higher. And I'm, I apologize to certain fans out there who may no. be very distressed. But actually, that's you, the, they're the people you're honoring. That's, so. that's, that's one of the, that's one, our job. one of the very good I like to hear. I, you get that little high praise indeed. Yeah. That little happy smile. Like, okay, very good. Nice.
Nowhere but America do you get treated as a Brit as quite a sort of extraordinary phenomenon. I mean, the deception is that, is that we're clever. Unfortunately, we just talk right. It's a, it's a uh, fabulous deception. It's a great yeah, deception. I've got, British, I'm starting yeah. to build an immunity to it. Where I'm like, often you meet Americans who are... Aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Often you meet yeah. Americans who are absolutely convinced that you're extremely well-read, that you've read every great piece of <laughs> that literature. That you know what you're talking that about. That you have four degrees from the university. He's very good at this, actually. I've watched yeah, it. Yeah, and I'm yeah. absolutely clueless. As you know, this, the space between these ears yeah. is an absolute yeah. void.